Are we live? Hey guys, this is Bobby Clue with the Somerset Pulaski County Chamber of Commerce. We are back at it again with one of our Chamber Spotlight Series videos. So just to refresh everybody, uh, out and about during this Spotlight Series, we're interviewing our 2023 Business of the Year Award winners. And today, one of my favorite awards that we have we get to hand out every year. So uh, this is our Rising Star Award winner, Mr. Alex uh, Wilson, uh, RidgeNet Networking, and, and, and all sorts of uh, different things that you've got your hand in. But Alex, thanks for taking a minute to talk with me about this award. Yeah, well, thanks for having me. So it's always a pleasure to, to be able to sit down with you. And uh, so, yeah, looking forward to well, it. Well, I think that the reason I enjoy this award so much is because it's an award that looks to the future. So we're looking for that next generation of leadership here in Pulaski County. And Alex, I will be honest with you, you're absolutely, you fit the bill. I mean, you've got your hands involved in not only an incredibly successful business, but your community, uh, you, you, you have a servant's heart and you're very involved in this community. So I'm going to I want to break a few of those things down and just talk about them a little bit. And let's talk about just the maybe the community service part first. So okay. I know that you're very involved uh, in the volunteer fire department here in Science Hill. Is that right? Correct. How yes. long have you been doing that? Uh, so I joined uh, just after the start of the year in 2020. So I'll be coming up on my fifth year here shortly. Right. I've been with them. And, and you've also won a couple of awards with them, too, for Firefighter of the Year. Is that right? It's correct, yep. What do you have to do to get that award? Do you have to climb ladders faster than the other guys? Or gotta, what, do you, what do you have to do? you got to roll a lot of hose. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet. Uh, you know, and, and, and honestly, I think that from what I've been told, and I could be wrong, we have a really good collection of volunteer fire departments yes. here in Pulaski County. We have several. Mm -hmm. I'm sure everybody knows somebody, whether it's Woodstock, Stab, you know, Fall, you know, Fall Bush, wherever it might be. Uh, Science Hill. We've got some really good volunteer fire departments. Oh yeah, you know Pulaski's blessed to have uh, uh, so many fire departments and so many members. Now I'll say, like everywhere else, we're hurting for members. Sure. Um, but for the most part, you can rest assured if the call's made, somebody yeah. will show. How, um, how did you get into this? Did you have a family member that was? How did you? I mean, I've never woke up and just said, you know, I want to go, yeah. want to go fight some fires. How did, how did you get into this? Well, I'm first generation, I guess really? you could say. Never had anybody in the family that really did it. Okay. Um, and I think a lot of it came, of course, I was born and raised right here. Right here. Um, Science Hill's always been my home. And when my brother and I started building our new location here, you know, the fire department, you could throw a rock to it right out of here. It's right out here. It's just right out the road. And, um, you know, when we started this business getting into public safety, uh, you start seeing a lot of the needs and the struggles that agencies like that face. And, um, you know, I wanted to be as involved in the community as I could, but I wanted to do meaningful things. I wanted to really make the most of my time and efforts to, um, in unique ways. Um, you know, like there's a lot of things that you can do is like volunteer at places or, you know, I volunteer with homeless shelters and help with the schools and things like that. But I was looking for a true need that not a lot of people were taking up. Right. And so that kind of led me to the fire department. I got yeah. to talking to the chief over there, Josh Whitus, and he was telling me how they were struggling for members, um, that were, you know, kind of young bodied and enabled, uh, cause it's, it's strenuous work. Um, you know, part of the leading deaths of a firefighter is more so heart conditions more than oh, anything wow. else, um, because of the strenuous activity. So I was like, well, you know, I, I know nothing about fighting fire than they put water on the, on the fire and put it out. Huh. There's, you know, there's a lot more to it. It sure um, is. Um, and you know, we respond to a lot more than that. Medical calls, wrecks, uh, we do a lot of PR in the community too, mm -hmm. which is nice. So, um, I saw an opportunity there. I'm like, you know, I'm young enough. Um, I'm healthy enough and I'm in a unique spot because not everybody could leave work during the day. Mm -hmm. That's when we struggle the most. Um, uh, most of your people, volunteers, have jobs, right? Yeah. And, and you've got some flexibility as an correct. owner so where you can do that. Yep. So I'm able, uh, not all the time, but for the most part, if there's a call and I'm here, mm -hmm. I can be at the station in less than a minute yeah. and out the door. Well, so. let me talk about something else. So I know something that's very near and dear to your heart and probably one of the things that you know, we've always connected on as, as uh, with the chamber. You know, you love entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. You've been very involved 
uh, in FBLA, which is the Future Business Leaders of America uh, at Pulaski County High School. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. I know that you have won some awards with them as well on the, the state and local levels. Is mm-hmm. that right? That's correct. Yeah, so, uh, you know, in high school, I spent a lot of my time uh, with FBLA, and it was just, I've always had a business mind. I've always loved that sort of uh, environment, and uh, so I was lucky enough to be involved in that um, organization, and it really helped form me to what I am today. I learned so much, more so people skills, mm-hmm. and um, and all sorts of uh, plethora of skills that have helped me develop into not just a better person, but a, a better business owner as well, sure. a better employer. And uh, so when I left there, I'm like, you know, this helped me so much. If I can give just a little bit back and help another kid, a future business leader or a future uh, coworker in any way, that it means a lot to me because it helped me. So if, if whatever I can do makes a lot of difference. Well, I tell you, you know, we have a program I know you know well called the Young Entrepreneurs Academy. Yeah. We're always trying to find people like yourself that to come in and, and help us out, and and it's it's hard to find those people. It is a lot of people. Uh, they just you know, and and most of them will tell you that you know they never had opportunities like mm-hmm. this when they were younger. But it, you know, it's finding the time. Right. And but I, I love people that have that uh, entrepreneurial mindset that they want to go out and they want to hang their own shingle. They want right. to build their own you know business in this world. And a lot of the things you learn in FBLA, they're very transferable for life. Right. And you know it's not just the business side of it and the business plan writing. It's it's the interaction with other people and That's just correct. you know learning those skills. And I know that you've. I'm looking at them behind me here. So you were their business person of the year. And that's here locally, correct? Yeah, that's a regional level, so that's yes. multiple counties. And, and then you were their their person of the year, right? Uh, their business person of the year for the state. Yeah, yeah, and and that that is a, a really good segue, I think, into talking about that business that you got yeah. business person of the year for. So you know, we've talked about this a lot, and and RidgeNet also in past years has been a business of right. the year award winner as well. But RidgeNet Network Group, tell us a little bit, maybe just of the. Uh, the history, you know, because it's yeah. it's it's a it looks a lot different today than when I first met you. Oh yeah, no things have changed. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll start at the beginning. You know, my brother had the idea back in 2011 that he wanted to start a business, and so uh, I was still in high school. But RidgeNet became, uh, uh, I guess, was born. The idea was brought to life, and you know, at the time it was just a, a side job, right? Yeah. And uh, it was something for me to kind of pursue through high school. We started as internet company providing internet services to homes and businesses okay um, from there we grew into doing it work my, my brother will always say he's the brains right he's the technical guy <laughs> he he knows the ins and outs of it me not so much but you're, i can talk to people you're the face i'm more the face <laughs> and uh in the operations side but um you know we grew that into a multi-county operation providing internet service from here all the way into adair county mm-hmm. down into albany um, and we enjoyed it, but um, come around 2019, we wanted wanted to do more, um, and I kind of wanted to leave my mark on the business. Right. So in 2019, we decided to get into public safety, doing the two-way radios and the upfitting. Is that just? Did that kind of uh, just kind of did that happen just because of maybe? Your involvement in the fire department, you just felt a calling more to do more in public service? A little bit of both. Uh, our IT background led us to a lot of 911 centers mm-hmm. and, um, and agencies. So we were doing that, and that got us into the radios, which then got us into doing the videos. Ah, okay. So, gotcha. Um, but, yeah, you know, that passion for public safety all around has always burned. And, yeah. and that's helped, you know, propel us here and gives us a better understanding you know, when we build these cars, it's more than just building a car. We're building something that these uh, folks are going to be spending the majority of their life in. It's their office. It's really their home. They right. spend more time there than they do at home. So for them to have something reliable, something that's comfortable and that's mm-hmm. efficient, that means a lot. Uh, so we're able to kind of put our own uh, uh, spin on that and and pump out a product that can be seen really all over the country at this point. Well, and I can tell you something. I feel like you're you're not even giving yourself enough credit in this conversation. You're a humble guy. And I just want to tell people, RidgeNet, what they've built in this bubble in a short amount of time is nothing short of amazing. I mean, the, your guys are, are, are doing, you know, upfits on all these public v- safety vehicles. I mean, hundreds and hundreds at a time. 
from multiple states at this point. How many states have you worked in at this point? Do you know? Um, I, Do you have a little map with all the... Well, I've got a state map right over there of all the counties we're in, which yeah. is over 80 right now. Over in, 80 in of Kentucky. 120. That's amazing. Yeah. And uh, But state-wise, uh, we've touched at least 20 that's states amazing. With, with the cars we've built. And actually Canada as well now. Wow. So that's... Well, you know, and it just... That's a testament to good work, I think, because, you know, you don't have a lifetime of, you know history in this business to, to lean on to say, well, we've right. been doing this forever. You've done all this through, you know, grit and determination and hard work. I mean, you've gone out and you've put a great product together and I've watched some of these. I've been in the garage and, and I've gotten a chance to see what you all do. And it's it's not one size fits all. It's very it's different for every department oh, yeah. or even sometimes for an officer. Mm-hmm. If they're big or small. You know, you're working uh, uh, one-offs a lot of times on these vehicles. It's, oh yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. It's a it's a really um, particular process, and and people ask us all the time, you know, what's the key? What do you do better than others? And and I think that it's not what we do better. It's it's how we operate better. It's our team. Mm-hmm. We are blessed. We have a team that I would put up against any. Sure. Uh, we have really good team members, um, and we just. We're humans, right? And sure. I think people like to deal with humans, so that's got us a long way. Well, if anybody's kind of wondering where Ridge Nest's located up in Science Hill, if you've ever gone by, you know, if you're close to the fire department, if you've ever gone by that lot out here that's got, you know, dozens and dozens of uh, white or black vehicles yeah. out in the parking lot <laughs> that look like they're police vehicles, mm-hmm. they are. They're, yep. they're waiting to be up, upfitted <laughs> uh, and go to a department somewhere. Yep. They've yep. been purchased, and they're just, that's how busy you are. You, you're wa- They're waiting to get worked on. That's right. they, they got to take a number <laughs> <laughs> and get in line. <laughs> it's, a, it's incredibly, uh, it's impressive, and, and I love the, the, the transformation that you and your brother have put forward with this company. Mm-hmm. It, it looks so much different today uh, than it did but I bet your family is incredibly proud of that transformation. Oh, yeah. they, they, you know, in, in a lot of businesses, that happens. You know, there's just there's times where you just you know things change and you have to you change with it or you yep. know adapt or die. I guess is what they say. That's right. Yep. So you guys have found a, a really you know unique niche because mm-hmm. everybody clearly doesn't do this, and yep. you've brought a lot of this in house, and it's uh, it's incredibly impressive. I mean, so I hope everybody in a very short window of time can see why uh, Alex is probably one of the most deserving recipients that we've ever had of this Rising Star Award. Uh, I'm incredibly uh, proud of you, and I want you to know how much I appreciate you being a member of the Chamber and I want you to know how much we appreciate you taking the time yeah. to meet with us today. Um, it, just for a shameless plug on the video here, and we'll put it down in the comments as well. How sure. do people get a hold of RidgeNet if they want to if they want to learn more about what you do? Well, uh, there's a few ways. Uh, Facebook, you can call us. The office number is 606-280-9815. You can call me personally. Yeah. Or uh, my favorite method, just stop by and see us. Yeah. Come through the front door. We're you on. can also sm- start a small fire in your front yard, yeah. and he'll and he'll come find yeah, you that way as you well. You can call nine one one, and I may show up. But. Alex is going to find you if you're in Science Hill yeah, in a lot of different ways. That's right. We may cross paths. <laughs> well, I want you to know uh, how much I appreciate your time, and and uh, and you know anything that the chamber can ever do for you, yeah. we're going to make sure to do that. Well, we appreciate. Yeah, that. for sure, guys. Uh, another uh, installment of our chamber. Spotlight series. We've been here with Alex Wilson, uh, our recipient of our rising 2023 Rising Star or Star Award. Now we have a couple more of these uh, awards to do before the end of the year, uh, so stay tuned for those, and uh, we'll have a good day. Okay, thank you. Thank you.